differential differential diagnosis of acute flaccid paralysis in children very much important welcome you all in PD Academy by Dr. Pankaj if brain stream stroke is there yes we can get this picture brain stream encephalitis so anything affecting brain stream can cause acute flaccid paralysis important acute anterior poliomyelitis which was common causes uh, in previous era so this can cause polio acute myelopathies any uh, spinal cord involvement in form of space occupying lesion acute transverse myelitis can cause peripheral neuropathy very important these are more common nowadays gbs we have post rabies diphtheric neuropathy very important acute intermittent porphyria very important just remember vasculitis neuropathy critical illness neuropathy and lymphoma neuropathy are important next disorders of neuromuscular transmission if neuromuscular transmission is affected like in myasthenia gravis in industrial toxin tick paralysis if disorders are muscles are there like hypokalemia just note hypokalemia hypophosphatemia myopathies rhabdomyolysis trigonosis and familial periodic paralysis so these are important causes of causes of acute flash